you want to know the difference between Windows 8 and Windows 10 for performance, especially in games? Well, this is the video to check out. We're using an MSI PE60 laptop and we're going to be checking out what the difference is. Stick around! Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So while the laptop's updating to Windows 10, I thought I'd give you an idea of what we're doing in the video and why we're doing it. The why is pretty simple. Windows 10's been out for a about a month now, and a lot of people are still hesitant to upgrade, especially if they're on 8.1, because they're, pl they're probably still gonna get the DirectX 12 update, and you know, you still got a fairly fast operating system, and you don't have to have any hassle of upgrading, so um, this video is hopefully gonna uh, give you an idea of the gaming, uh, very only gaming performance difference between Windows 10 and Windows Eight, if there is any. I haven't actually finished the testing yet, so we'll have to see. Now, bear in mind, all these games are only DirectX 11. They're not DirectX 12 yet, which is obviously a benefit Windows 10 currently has over Windows 8.1. So the main reason for that is just because at this point in time, there aren't many games, if any, out with DirectX 12 uh, support just yet. So once we have those, we'll do a video on that, but for the moment, it's just DirectX 11 games. Now, the what is the games we're gonna be playing, which is uh, Battlefield 4, uh, GTA 5, Grid 2, and Bioshock Infinite. That's just because they are the ones that are in our sort of bench marking suite and uh, if you want to see any more games uh, tested let us know I'm gonna have the laptop for another couple weeks I believe because I'm gonna do a full review as well as take it to insomnia by the way if you're at insomnia this weekend in i55 feel free to tweet at us because we'll be there as well so we can catch up so other than that yeah that's pretty much it I'm gonna uh, be quiet for once and let you jump into the numbers so to give you an idea of the uh, performance, uh, we actually had two games that didn't really run in terms of compatibility. The first one, which is the worst, which is Bioshock Infinite, which after uh, some research I found out that it may not just be Windows 10 that's affected. Um, you know, some people are saying they're on Windows 7 and it didn't work and it you know, it's, uh, exhibits the same issue. So um, unfortunately that's just something I couldn't get working in time for this video, but if I do get it working I'll leave an annotation or leave it in the description down below if you are interested. Now, the second game that had a bit of compatibility issue was actually Grid 2. Again, both of these are slightly older games, so bear that in mind. Um, and the other thing is just that when we run when we ran Grid 2 on Windows 8, it worked fine. Uh, we got 65 FPS average on you know max settings, which is awesome. But unfortunately, after uh, upgrading to Windows 10, and it was an upgrade, not a clean install, by the way, um, that effectively meant that I had to run it in compatibility mode and it crashed most of the time so I only ended up getting like one result in general which was about about 50 FPS which could be down to the fact that it's not a you know I'm actually playing the game as opposed to running uh, any of the pre-baked benchmarks um, so you know it's it could be down to that and also could be down to the fact that it was in compatibility mode so that's just something to take a note of. Now the better examples are Battlefield 4 which we ended up with on ultra settings we got 27 FPS on Windows 8 and 28 FPS average on Windows 10. Now of course that is within margin of error and it's something that you may you know may get or may not see depending on what hardware you have and all that sort of stuff so just take a note of that and um, take that one with a pinch of salt. Now GTA 5 is definitely the star in this one obviously it's been developed way more recently so it's probably more uh, you know adapted to Windows 10 which is really nice and it seems like we got a really nice performance increase now on Windows 10 uh, sorry Windows 8 we ended up with a 43 or 42 FPS average and on Windows 10 we ended up with a 49 FPS average that's really awesome to see that improvement obviously this is again take it with a pinch of salt to see you know because it's obviously the specific laptop with these specific settings so uh, you know check them out in the description down below but you know it's it's very subjective right now uh, but you can expect either small or no performance gains which I guess is probably a good thing it's not going to be a deteriorating performance uh, that you'll see unless it's you know an older game with back compatibility but if you are looking to upgrade to Windows 10 and you just wanted another reason you could possibly get some extra FPS so that's pretty awesome if you want to see us test any more games feel free to leave them in the comments down below and uh, yeah other than that I'm going to round out the video so that it keeps it nice and short and uh, yeah we'll see you on the next one don't forget to grab a t-shirt or uh, you know the softest hoodie in the world from uh, techsmgb.co.uk slash merch um, 
they're stupid fast it's like 5 to 15 days in the UK or USA so that's awesome and uh, yeah don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already for more comparisons reviews news and all that other cool stuff um, yeah hit the like button if you like it dislike if you dislike it leave a comment and let us know what you thought of the video or all that jazz and uh, yeah we'll see you all in the next video so thanks for watching this Titan GB video. Uh, you've probably heard enough of me already, so I'm going to finish off by saying please subscribe if you haven't already. It helps us out a hell of a lot, and it means just the world is in general. Please do feel free to check out some of our recent videos both down below. Um, they're uh, more recent ones and they're certainly awesome. Uh, feel free to click my face for the website and click all the links over there for our Amazon affiliate uh, link, our social media and also our YouTube channel as well. Other than that, as I said, please subscribe, like, share, favourite and all the other many things possible and we'll see you all in the next video.